Let's welcome in two-time Super Bowl champ Brian McFadden. I love seeing that video. We don't get to play it that often. Uh, and I realize now that I have a hair tie on my wrist, so I'm going to take that off. We're going to continue the segment here. BMAC, <laughs> we're going through the NFL schedule. Your top five wide receiver cornerback matchups. We're going to go through each of them. And let's start with a couple in week 14. Number five coming in Thursday night football. Jalen Ramsey and the Rams hosting Devontae Adams and his new team, the Raiders. Well, Amanda, the reason why these two guys made my top five is because of how great they are. Individually speaking, two guys that may be considered the best at their position based on what they've done over the last few years and how consistent they've been able to do it. Now, let's keep it real. We've seen these two face off before. Jalen Ramsey with the Rams, Devontae Adams with the Green Bay Packers. But get this. De Devontae is no longer with the Packers. He is in a Raider uniform. He will be receiving passes from Derek Carr. So this is a, a new opportunity to see these two familiar faces face off against each other with Devontae now being a part of another of a new organization. So anytime we get a chance to see a number 17 and number five battle in Jalen Ramsey, I'm all for it. I think this will be a, a star study type event when you look at guys going toe to toe and looking at and expecting to see Jalen follow number 17 around the football field. Like you said, this will happen in week 14 and I can't wait to see it. The other one we're watching in week 14, uh, somebody else who has a new home, of course, Tyreek Hill. Dolphins visiting the Chargers there, your number four matchup. Tyreek Hill going up against JC Jackson. Two guys that have new homes, right? J.C. Jackson was a free agent, went out and got a huge big-time payday from the Chargers. Tyreek Hill wasn't a free agent, kind of forced his way out of Kansas City to go down to South Beach to play with the Miami Dolphins. These two guys have seen each other before. You look at the duels they've seen when Tyreek was with Kansas City, and of course you see there in your graphic when J.C. was with the New England Patriots. They paid J.C. to follow the opposing team's number one wide receiver. And you better believe he will be following Tyreek Hill week 14 out there in Los Angeles. And that will be another star studded like event as well because I respect both guys when it comes to JC Jackson, the job he's done. Look at the graphic, 25 interceptions over the last four seasons. When you look at what Tyreek Hill has been able to do as well, Mr. Efficient, Mr. Consistency since 2016, you better believe these two guys will be going toe to toe. And the last man that will be standing will be the winner. Third best matchup. I love this one personally. Bengals and Cowboys. Look, these two guys were all too familiar with one another in college. It's the first time we get to see them go head to head in the NFL. Trayvon Diggs, Jamar Chase here. Uh, Diggs had a lot of love for Jamar Chase when Jamar was in the draft. He said he was the most talented wide receiver coming out of college. I wonder if he still feels that way. Uh, no question. When you look at what Jamar did last year, remember, he was able to dominate the NFL, not playing his last season at LSU. He's that type of talent. So this is a, oh, I can't wait for this. I was, I have this number, what, number three on my list, but boy, I was flirting with number two. I was flirting with number one. But when you look at Jamar Chase, man, look at these highlights. The, the chemistry, the continuity that he has with Joe Burrow, it has been well documented. You look at what Diggs was able to do, Trayvon Diggs, uh, he, he's become an intercepting machine for the secondary for the Dallas Cowboys. You better believe he will be following number one. The unique thing I like about these guys, they have some type of a, a history. Playing in the SEC, the SEC West that is, you know there's, there's still a dislike when you talk about an LSU alum playing against an Alabama alum. This will be a personal, personal matchup, but get this though. When I put this in my top five, I was looking at Jamar's Chase schedule when you look at some of the outstanding defensive backs he will be going against. I mean, Amanda, Jamar Chase, he has Xavier Howard week four. He has Marshawn Lattimore week six. He has A.J. Terrell week seven. So it was like, wow, which matchup do I include in my top five? I decided to go with the Cowboys and Trayvon Diggs because I do believe the Dallas Cowboys will be probably a better team than some of the other teams that I mentioned outside of maybe the Miami Dolphins. So Diggs, Howard, made my, I'm sorry, Diggs Chase made my top five at right. number three. So let's talk about what it came in as number two, because you said that was almost number two, it was almost number one. Uh, your yeah. second best matchup here, it's happened in week six, another Dolphins game hosting the Vikings, but we're not talking about Tyreek Hill here. We're not talking about Tyreek Hill, we're talking about the guy who's been known to intercept a lot of passes, Xavier Howard playing against Justin Jefferson down in Miami. I think this will be the first time these two, t these two individuals face off against each other. I just talked about Jamar Chase. Justin Jefferson, they played in the same team in college, LSU. 
Both guys have done nothing but exceeded the expectations set for them. And this is going to be a heavy hitting matchup. When you look at the talent level from both sides, number 25 is Xavier Howard. I mean, he's getting paid the right way. He's, he's receiving the right payday, but he's not getting the notoriety that I think he should get. When you look at how good he's been, and, and, and Justin Jefferson, I mean, where he is going, he's going to that elite-like territory based on what he's been able to do so far in his professional career. And like I expect to see, Xavier Howard will be following number 18 around the football field. This is a matchup I can't wait to see, and I decided to put this number two. All right, number one, and I think there's no argument with this. The number one matchup you're looking forward to this season, it is right out of the gate. It is the very first game out of the, the season. We get Bills at Rams September 8th. We're talking about Jalen Ramsey and Stephon Diggs. Listen, Amanda, this was so easy for me. Like you said, we don't have to wait for this one. This will be the first matchup of a highly anticipated NFL season. The Super Bowl champs are going against the potential. When you look at the favorites to get to the promised land this year, it's the Buffalo Bills right now. And these two guys, we've seen this matchup before, right? Most recently in Buffalo. But now playing this in Los Angeles, the stars will be extremely bright. All the stars will be in the stadium as well. Uh, I can't wait to see this. Uh, looking at Jalen Ramsey, when you look at Stephon Diggs, you look at Josh Allen, when you look at Aaron Donald, so many factors play into this matchup for me. But when it's all said and done, they are, their five-star player will be following the Bills' five-star player, and that's Jalen Ramsey. And as you see in my top five, I have Mr. Ramsey on here twice because he is my number one corner in the National Football League. Uh, you know, just being from Florida State as icing on top of the cupcake, but he is that type of player. So anytime y'all get a chance to see number five on the football field, I'm always watching. But you better believe Thursday night in Los Angeles, everyone will be watching that matchup. Stephon Diggs versus Jalen Ramsey. Caesars did put out odds for that game. It's basically a pick em right now. The Rams are getting one at home. Uh, but we got a long summer ahead of us. BMAC, thank you so much. Let's recap his top five matchups of the season when it comes to cornerbacks and wide receivers. There you get Jalen Ramsey on there twice. You get the Dolphins on there twice as well, but for different reasons. Tyreek Hill going up against J.C. Jackson week 14. Xavier Howard versus Justin Jefferson in week six. And BMAC and his cousin there, current Viking Patrick Peterson, they have a podcast. Some of the best interviews you will hear out of any NFL podcast. They talk to current players, they talk to former players. Make sure to download and follow. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.